friends welcome back to my channel for those of you who are new my name is d i am a saint beauty artist and a diy lash enthusiast so i'm assuming you're clicking on this video because you are interested in diy lashes so before i start the video a couple things first off yes i do have a black eye um unfortunately i have tried to cover it up with various different things and it is not being covered so it actually looks worse than this but it is what it is um, I had a treatment under my eyes. I had PRF. So basically they take your blood, they spin it around, they get all the good stuff and then they un inject it under your eyes. And unfortunately I did not follow the treatment plan and I drank alcohol the night before and boom. So if you are having any injections done or whatever, don't be like me and make sure you follow the treatment plan because it is a week later and you will still have a bruise crazy but so just getting that out of the way in case you're like why like let's talk about the elephant in the room and the fact that you have a huge big bruise under your eye um and like I said I tried to cover it and it's just for whatever reason it's still swollen it's still whatever um not having the greatest face day I feel like my skincare because of my bruise because of the treatment plan I haven't been able to do my skincare regularly so I feel like my face is just off but you didn't click on this video because of makeup. You clicked on this video for lashes. So today I'm gonna to be doing something a little bit different. Um, if you follow me on my channel, you know that I do, or I love the Lynx lashes. These are, have been for a while, my favorite lashes. I love them because they're super affordable um, and they have great quality. It's just affordable and quality and just finding that right mix. So I normally, do 12 millimeter. I kind of started out at 10 millimeter because I I didn't like that vava boom look and then I kind of graduated to 12 millimeter and now I feel like hmm maybe I want to start playing with 14 millimeter. So we're going to today kind of play around see how it goes. I am going to go in with the N3 um, 12 millimeter and the N3 14 millimeter. Let me open it real quick so you can see what they look like. So this is what the 12 millimeter look like and they are super, super soft. That is one of the reasons why I like, like Lynx lashes because of their quality. You don't have that like plasticky feeling, but then also the band here is super, super small. There's some other brands like Flutter Habit and can't remember the other ones, but Flutter Habit where they have almost like that fishing line base and to me they're just not comfortable they're super super heavy i always feel like something's poking me but these are super super thin and that is my preferred lash lash style so let me open up the 14 one so you can kind of see the difference between the 12 and 14. 12 are on the top 14 are on the bottom you can see here definitely i mean it almost looks a little bit eh, i guess they're similar these look a little bit spiky but i think it's because maybe they are just a little bit shorter but the 14 are definitely a little bit more dramatic so what i'm going to do is what i think i'm going to do we'll see how it comes out this is the first time that i've really mixed styles i don't normally like to mix styles i like to go like right across with the same um, length, but I'm just trying to branch out. And that's one of the things that I absolutely love about DIY lashes is it's 100% customizable. If you don't like it, you can take it off. It's not like you spent an enormous amount of money. You can redo it. You can reuse the lashes. So it's not like you damage the lashes or anything like that. If you don't like the placement, take it off. What is that right there? That is bugging me. Okay. It's my, usually there's a towel hanging up there. And I think that I'm like, what is that black thing that's hanging right there? Sorry, sidebar. But anyways, so that's what I'm gonna do today. Just really kind of play with it. I think I'm gonna do 12, 12s here, and then 14 here, and then 12 here. I don't know. I don't know if I'm not. I was thinking about doing like the cat eye, but sometimes I don't like that with my eyes because my eyes are a little bit more round. Or maybe they're not round. Maybe I'm just being crazy. <clears throat> maybe I'll be safe and just do 12s and then do 14s on the, the end. I don't know. I don't know. We're going to see how, to, how this comes out. So I'm going to go ahead and prep everything. So here is what I'm using. And as I've said before in all of my videos, I'm not brand specific. I like Lynx lashes, but if something else comes across 
you know, that is, is good quality and just as affordable, then I'll use those. I just like every single style that I've tried. Every single one has been consistent. Their shipping's fast. It has just been an all around well-rounded brand for me. And that's why I really, really like them, but I'm not brand specific and you can kind of see for my tools. So the first one, um, I'm going to go in with the Lashify Pre-Cleanse. This is the only one that I've ever used. It works just fine. I purchased it probably a year and a half ago. I still have a ton, of le ton left and it works. So I'm going to keep using it. The next thing I'm going to do the Lashify Blow Tool. I have not seen any other brand come out with one like this, but I want to purchase it because I already got this one. Um, then I'm going to go in with the Lynx Lashes Glue. This is hands down, I like this better than the Lilac Street one. I like it better than the Lashify ones. To me, it just seems to, the, the formula is a little bit more liquidy, I guess. Less of a dry formula, but it's staying power. I really, really like it. Um, I'm gonna go in with the Lilac Street wand. This is by far my favorite wand. And if you've watched any of my videos, you know this is the only one that I use. And then last but not least, I'm gonna finish it off with the Lashify glass. So this is the bond and sealer to help get the stickiness away, but then also help ensure that bond is bonded. So I'm going to go ahead and start making my lash maps. And then I'm going to speed through this. I'm not going to talk through it just because I do have somewhere to go. And of course I always do this video, these videos when I'm on a time crunch, but I also, I feel like I have a lot of videos where I talk through it. So I'm just going to sync it up and then we'll come back and look at the final result. And I can tell you what I think and tips and tricks and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. stop it right here kind of show you this is the problem that I feel like I will find you can see how more drastically long this one is the 12 to the 14 I wish they would come out with 13 because I feel like that would be more of a subtle kind of you know like whatever um I'm gonna try to do this I'm gonna do See if I put it in the middle like I originally was thinking. These are like super, super long. Yeah, I just feel like I have an antenna on my eye. So yeah, no go for me for that. Um, I just feel like they're a little bit too long. And you know what? Let's do this. I'm just going to go in. This is the first time that I've ever done this. I'm gonna go in, if I can get this lash off, I'm gonna go in with 14s across the way. I don't think I'm gonna like it because um, I think I'm gonna think they're too long and too like in my face, but we're gonna see how I like it. And at least you guys will be able to see what they look like um, because maybe you are 14 millimeter girls. They are a little bit more compared to the four, or the 12s, I feel like they're a little bit more delicate as far as the lashes go. Just when I'm taking it off, I feel like they bend a little bit easier, more easily. I lost it. Like they're getting a little bit, like I feel like I've got to brush them out because they're getting a little snaggly, straggly kind of thing. A little extra. Yeah. Maybe a night out, I could see maybe liking these. Ugh, but I'll be honest with you, these are not a day-to-day -day look for me. But at the same time, I'm going to give it a go for today. And see, because one thing that I find is even with the 12 millimeters, when I first started wearing those, because like I said before, I started out with the 10 millimeters and that's my like what my goal go-to lash was and then i ended up 
switching to 12 millimeters because I was like, you know what? I think I'm ready. You know, I want a little bit more Baba Boom. And I remember the first time that I wore them, I was like, no, 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 no. They're way too exaggerated. They're way too in your face. I like more of that natural look. And then I gradually got to the point where I like them. And now I have 10 millimeter in. I tried to like reuse them or whatever, or do the go back to the 10 millimeter. And I'm like, no, 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 no. So I had to sell or I'm selling. I think I still have some. Um, so if you're interested in any 10 millimeters, let me know and I can let you know what I have. But um, I'm gonna sell them on Poshmark because they just weren't, like they didn't look good anymore. I felt like they looked short and kind of like, Short and stout. <laughs> I look crazy. I look crazy. Okay. So I'm going to go in on the other side and see how we can make this look. Actually, I'm going to go in first with the glue bond because I feel like over here I have this little area that's being a little a little sticky so I'm gonna start working on that okay let's do this So there you go. That is the N3, Lynx Lashes N3, 14 millimeters. So personally, just looking at them, I mean, they're super, super pretty. So if you like that kind of baba boom look, then I think these are absolutely gorgeous. They're a little bit too long for me. But like I said, I'm going to wear them today. I'll come back tonight if I can remember. If not, I'll come back tomorrow and just kind of show you. Like, because sometimes when you, you know, when you first look at yourself, you're like, uh, uh, uh. And then it kind of grows on you. And I cannot tell you how many times that's happened when I've tried new lash styles where I'm like, it's not going to work. I don't like it. It's not my normal style. And every time I look in the mirror, I'm like, eh, eh. And then all of a sudden, gradually, I'll start going, hmm, maybe it's not so bad. Hmm, maybe it's not so bad. So it might be like that for these. Um, but yeah, I'm going to wear them today and I'll let you guys know. But they are, even though they're longer, I don't feel them on my eyes. Like I feel, and I can see a little bit right here, but that could just be the way that I place them. They're not hitting up here, which is a big thing for me because I do have hooded eyelids. I usually, these are, and I forgot to say, these are in the C curl. So they do have C curl and D curl. So the C curl is less of a curl, the D curl is more. And I've tried the D curls before and they hit my bone there. And it's super, super annoying. It like tickles and kind of is like, tickly and weird feeling. Um, so these, even though they are longer, they do not, they're not hitting anywhere. So that's, that's a big thing for me, but they don't feel any more heavy than the other ones. But I think a good test will see tomorrow when I wake up, do I feel like, do I feel that heaviness? Are they a little bit more, are they still comfortable as the 12 millimeter? So maybe I'll come back tonight if I remember, and then tomorrow and kind of give you guys an update. So stay okay. tuned. So I wanted to come on here real quick and kind of give you guys an update on the lashes. Um, yes, I still have a bruise. It's not going away. I don't know. I'm taking Arnica. I'm doing all the things. But I think the glasses of wine at night and the caffeine are just keeping it like it's holding on. But anyways, wore the lashes all day yesterday. Woke up this morning. I don't feel any difference between the 12 millimeter and the 14 millimeter as far as weight. I thought for a second that, you know, because they are longer, they're going to weigh long or weigh more. And maybe I get kind of that tired feeling. I remember getting lash extensions from 
like the salon and I always felt like the next morning my eyelids just felt a little fatigued but I don't feel anything didn't feel anything when I slept last night um they slept just the same I always sleep on my face but I'm always very cognizant to kind of like keep my head on like my pillow on the back of my ears so my my eyes are kind of open um no issues they're still holding on strong i've gotten used to like the baba boom i did ask my daughter who's 13 and if you have a 13 year old you know that they are super br brutally honest but she said that they look fine and i was like do they look like too much do i do i look crazy like do i look like i'm trying too hard like whatever and she's like no they're pretty i like them and i'm like mm -hmm. um but they have gotten where they've kind of grown on me when i look in the mirror it's not as like boom in your face i did do a little bit of a more dramatic eye look today for church um and i actually really like it because a lot of times um i don't know i feel like it just goes with the lashes like it's just kind of this sultry look so definitely liking them i don't know I'm going to continue to wear them, but I just don't know if these are going to be like my, if I'm now committed to 14 millimeter, kind of still on the fence, but it's one of those things. That's why I like about the customization of being able to do my own lashes is if I don't like it, I could take it off. But also this is really pretty for like a date night or some kind of special event. So jewelry is still out. If I will, you know, transition over to 14 millimeter, I don't think so, but I also don't know how I'm gonna feel when I go to put on 12 millimeter if I'm gonna think it's gonna look too basic. So I like them, I enjoy them. Hopefully you guys kind of get an idea of what they may look like. Um, I did 12 millimeters, right? Just one 12 meter cluster and then the rest of 14. So those are it, super pretty. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Let me know if you have any questions. Until next time, bye.